I'm Colonel Edward Yako. I'm a family nurse practitioner um, in the Army Nurse Corps. I have over 28 years of experience as an Army officer. When I came in, I was offered a sign-on bonus, and then I was able to select um, where I was first able to be stationed. I selected Madigan Army Medical Center. The Army actually paid for two masters and a doctorate degree for me, which is very atypical. Um, it just happened that I was at the right place at the right time, but there was always those opportunities out there. And I um, sure would not have imagined starting off in 1990, graduating from a, a baccalaureate degree from a small town in Michigan, that I would be here 28 years later with those degrees, my experiences in deployment and um, resulting in my current job, which is the Chief of Quality at the Army Medical Command. Opportunities you get as an Army officer is not only to progress in your civilian career, but also your military career. So you start off in Officer Basic, then there's Advanced Course. There used to be a thing called Command and General Staff School, uh, the Intermediate Leadership, ILE and then there's the Army War College, and I was also lucky enough to be selected to do the Army War College. So in the Army Nurse Corps, as you come through the ranks so as Captain, Major, Lieutenant, Colonel, you're expected to take additional leadership responsibilities above and beyond what you do every day. And so as a Captain, you may want to become a head nurse of a clinic um, or a clinical nurse officer in charge, we call it a CNOIC. At the intermediate level, as you get more towards a major, you may be in charge of a department uh, as a nurse. Um, and then you can also, as you get uh, further rank, you might become a clinic chief. Um, and then you have more opportunities to take executive uh, skills. When you're in your practice and you're progressing not only in your military, but your civilian career, you have opportunities to publish and do research. And uh, my particular focus, and I have five or six published articles, um, is an evidence-based practice. One of the best benefits of being in the military is you're pushed to excel, you're pushed to learn. You can't be promoted as an Army Nurse Corps officer without having a master's degree. And to become a colonel, uh, there are only 122, I believe, Army Nurse Corps colonels who are active duty. And so it's pretty competitive. And you have to have those leadership skills, but you also have to show that you have a wide variety of assignments and leadership opportunities. I have been all over the world traveling um, and stationed all over the world as well. And it's really afforded me some very unique opportunities. I would absolutely recommend my, the Army to my peers. It is such a unique opportunity. And I'll tell you what, I, did, I didn't know that I would make it to 20 years because there were different points in my career where I had to reevaluate whether I wanted to be in the Army. And that happened kind of around every promotion, kind of captain, major, lieutenant colonel. It's a commitment and you have to be ready to deploy. But that's part of the job and you need to acknowledge that's part of the job. But there's so many benefits to being in the Army. One of the biggest benefits is to meeting some really great people. Um, there is a sense of partnership and teamwork in Army medicine that I don't see very much in the civilian sector. And being able to have frank conversations with my physician colleagues, physician assistants, the, in, the enlisted, the medics, the LPNs, everybody. It's one team and I truly feel that we are all there to help the soldiers, their families be ready and to deploy and to support our country. And I think that's, if you want to serve your country and you, you're proud of your country, then coming into the Army in any capacity you can, then that's what you should do because that's why I still wear the uniform is I love my country and I want to be in uniform and I've been very proud to have supported this nation in the capacities that I've been able to.